Has Bitcoin hit a bottom yet or are we going lower? Or perhaps is this the time to start accumulating? Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, Joel here with The Crypto Code. It is, uh, I believe it's July 8th today. Hope you guys are doing well. I wanna go ahead and talk about Bitcoin, crypto markets, where we're at in this cycle. I'm gonna show you some interesting charts. Before I jump into the charts, I just wanna show you the lake today. So today is July 8th. This weekend was July 4th, and people took a like a really long weekend, and this, this lake was packed. There's, I think I counted 45 boats out there. How many do you count out there now? I see two. So, by the way, the day you wanna go boating is the day after July 4th weekend. Nobody there. Alrighty guys, so let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the charts. See you in a minute. Okay, we just did a fast forward into the future. It is actually the 9th now, as soon as I recorded that video. Contractors showed up to the cabin, and started doing work, saws, noise, drills all day long. So I ended up uh, pausing the video till today. So it's a good sign though. Let's, uh, let's talk about the markets. I wanna take a few minutes and talk about uh, the price of Bitcoin, where we're going, where we're at right now, and a couple things to uh, keep you aware of. Again, thanks uh, for watching my video here today. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe. You guys know the drill. My, my goal is to deliver content. I'm gonna teach you guys how to really make money in crypto so you really understand how it works, where the markets are going. Please understand this isn't financial advice. Uh, nobody can predict the future. Um, our goal here at The Crypto Code is just to suck the profits out of the waves, get those 4%, 5%, 20%, um, and we do it many, many times over. So we don't really care if the markets are going up or down because we can prop either way. If that's the kind of content, if that's the kind of stuff that you want to learn, stick around. So let's talk, uh, talk about Bitcoin. I've got Bitcoin loaded up on our TCC trading dashboard chart right here. And you can see here, and I'm going to go ahead and talk about these, what you see, these red lines and these green lines if you're new to crypto here. You can see where current price is at 57525 right now, and potential target right now on a weekly chart of about a 7.43%, and on a daily chart about a 2.56% gain. You can see that we have uh, several uh, buys, strong buys at different levels in here. This is a very, very strong level of support. Now, I'm on a four hour chart of Bitcoin. And if you're new to crypto and you say, I don't understand anything about these charts, um, charts are new to me, I'm just going to teach you a, a few basics here today and just make it super simple for you. And we have the charts and the indicators to help you with this and to make it easier for you. If you know between, if you can tell between red and green and gray, you can make money in crypto. So here's how it works, everybody. Bitcoin is currently, the price is right here, 57,511, right? And so what happens is we visited down to this very strong level support. This is at 53,000 right in here, 53,045 or so in here. It's a very historical strong level of support. Why do I know it's a historical strong level? Well, because it is. So our charts don't just show you the recent price action, but it'll show you historical resorts. Now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom this chart in and kind of go back in time. See that green line? I'm gonna go way, 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 way back in time. Okay, why is it strong? Because right here back in 2021, this is the area that we came up to, we bounced down, we went up to, we bounced down, we played a lot with that area. It's a very strong level of support. We also, we played around with it a lot. We came up here, down here. It's a very, very, very strong level of uh, support and resistance. And so it's a very crucial to here we are, you know, fast forward three years, we are visiting that level of support again. Now, let me teach you something in crypto. There's a universal truth. If we bounce off of the support, that, that green bar, we're going up to the next level, okay? What's the next level that you guys see here? Okay, so you have a little red line right there that's sitting at about 58,000, okay? That's a very weaker level of what we call resistance, all right? So stronger level, see how the bars are further apart? And that's why you gotta love our indicator, guys. That's why the Crypto Code Trading Dashboard is truly unique because it's gonna show you these major levels. So if we break above right here, Okay, if we break above about 58,000, then we're going to the next one. Where's the next one? Well, the next one here is about 63,000. 
All right. So remember, price always moves in a wave. It never goes up in a straight line. It never goes down in a straight line. It's like playing uh, Pong. If you guys ever remember the Pong game, it's going to bounce back and forth, bounce back and forth, bounce back and forth. And when you learn this strategy of how it bounces back and forth and you use our indicators with the strong buy, strong sells, you're going to know when to sell your crypto. You're going to know when to buy your crypto. All right. So right now we were getting lots of strong buys we were buying crypto we were accumulating crypto and then we're going to go ahead and take our profits as we go up to these you know two to seven percents right here and we do a lot of this with our automated strategies by the way so if we come up here to this level right here let me just kind of zoom up here so you can see see we're gonna we're gonna come up we're gonna test that level right there it's a small little resistance level there if we break through that we're gonna go to the next level if we break through that, we're going to go to the next level. But it usually doesn't go like all like all like right in a row. Okay, it's going to wave. You'll probably come up here and down and down and down, and it's going to wave back and forth to go to those levels. Now, the same thing is the same thing. The opposite. If we break down here and we break down through 53, well, where is it going to go next? Well, I'll show you. Let me switch over to a 12-hour chart. Okay. If it breaks down here, it'll probably go down to down in the 40 to 50,000 range in here. You can see that by this level right in here, about 51,000. So if we break down, it's going to go down to the next level. If it breaks down to there, it's going to go to the next level. If it breaks down, it's going to go down to the next level. If it breaks up, it's going to go to the next level up. So that's basically it, guys. That is a, the basics of support and resistance. And so you want to make sure you buy, buy when it's uncomfortable sell when you don't want to so we're talking about shorter term trading right now so when we wicked down to 53,000 the other day lots of fear in the market it's we're going down and we're going down to 40k guys we're going down to you know 45k um, it usually doesn't go down as far as like the masses are saying it's going to go down to and it usually doesn't go up as high as everyone else says it's going to go up to so let me show you something kind of interesting here and the reason why this resistance level when we hit our all-time high at about 73,000 you know about seven you know 73,777 on this on the Binance chart we tested it we broke down below see how we went down to the next level down to the next level down to the next level then we broke above up 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 we tested it again one two three we kept getting rejected four five fifth time boom we broke down many times when you test a resistance level that many times and you don't break above it you're going down and if you had our charts and indicators and our strategies you would have known that and you would have known this is the time to really really start taking profits on the way up and then you could even consider shorting the markets from here the time to short the markets is when you hit these high areas of resistance that's when you short the markets you don't short the markets necessarily when we drop down here you definitely don't short so right now is not the time for shorting the way you wait for shorting the markets is you wait for us to bounce up and then get rejected and, and you short as we're going up, all right? So I want to put this on a daily chart and show you something here. Now, this is really, really important because the way our strategy works is we uh, basically we buy when we get our indicators, when we get an up arrow or in this in this area here. So this is back in January of 2023. Great time to buy. This is back in November. Strong buys. If you had bought here, that Bitcoin was about 15,320. And then we had the up arrow in January 23. This is the time to buy. And we have just had a really, really nice run on Bitcoin from right here. So right there, you know, that's about a 243% gain. Now, let me show you where right now we rejected here and where are we at look at this we have a green and we changed to potential trend change and this is on a one day chart and we've now printed a down arrow so typically what's going to happen is we printed that down arrow we're probably kind of come up and revisit that 60,000 area and we're probably going to bounce down again and probably going to waddle sideways here and we'll, if we continue to go down, we just have to look at these areas here at 51,000 and before we head on up. So we'll either visit some of these lower levels and there'll be great buying opportunities and then bounce right back up to these levels and go even higher. Or we could continue to go down and you never know that. And that's why with our method, we don't really care. We're not trying to go for 
uh, you know, Bitcoin, 100K, that we actually just take advantage of the volatility markets. We suck the profits out in the middle. But the one thing about this chart it tells us is that momentum is down. So our momentum is still going down. Most likely not, this is gonna change tomorrow. You're gonna start seeing a light red right here. And how long will it go down? Well, that's a good question. No one can predict the future. But I wanna show you kind of an example which was a fake out back here in August of last year, which was a great time of 2023. It's a great time to buy. We printed a down arrow. We went here, visited the low again. So watch this guys. So just here, strong buy. We went up there, we rejected down again, which will probably happen now, but then we continued to go up right here, All right? So we can't predict the future, but we could be in that kind of fake out situation but we'll have to see it as it comes. As it comes. So the important things to understand were these major support and resistance lines. If there's anything with trading and investing is learn support and resistance and learn where the major support and resistance is. And you can do that with our, our trading strategies and what we teach in our program. All right, guys, so hopefully this helps you. You can apply this to any crypto at all. And if you guys have any requests, you want me to analyze any of these other charts and throw it on our uh, charts and make a video about it, I'll be happy to do that. So for fun, you know, like and bring up ETH here and take a look at ETH. Here we are on a daily chart on ETH. We have potential target down of about 13% in here on a weekly chart. So probably about 2,642. If it breaks down through here, it'll probably go down to the next level. If it breaks down here, it'll probably go down to the next level. But remember, crypto doesn't always go down in a straight line. It, it doesn't go in a straight line. It waves in price. Let me grab another one here. Let's look at injective. See, injective on a daily chart has already printed that down arrow. Potential trend change. Yep, trend has been changing. Usually goes up and revisits that area. Get rejected. Go back down. Strong buy here. Is it going to get rejected again? Uh, very possible, but it has gone up above. So it's probably going to go back up to this next level. And either it's going to reject from here, it's going to go back up from here. Now, we do have something kind of interesting on this chart. We have what's called a golden pocket indicator. So it's very, very possible that are from here that we could be hitting that $27.49 here. Let's go look at XRP because I know XRP had some, uh, some big mo movement uh, just recently. This is on a daily chart. So basically it dropped down to 38 cents and then moved up to here. We did get a strong buy signal here. We'll see how that plays out. Let me look at one more note, one more here, Solana. Okay, yeah, Solana is a perfect example. This is on a daily chart. Anytime you get a buy or a strong buy on our daily chart, boy, that is a time to really pay attention here. So for example, uh, back here, we had a buy signal on just on July 5th, the day after July 4th. Nice buy signal it wicked down here, and we're already up about, uh, what are we at, about uh, about 14% on that. Same thing if you'd uh, followed the strong buy here, and I took a measured move here from that strong buy. It already did a 42%, that was back from April to May as well, and obviously, if you had followed our chart all the way back here from the on the one day with an arrow up, Okay, those arrow ups are very, very strong signals here. Boom, you would have been at a 911% move. So if you're new to crypto, it is worth your time to learn how to use a chart like this, how to read these charts because the charts will give you the signals. It'll tell you when to buy, when to sell, and how to go ahead and, and take profits along the way. All right, if you've liked this video today, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Uh, for more videos like this, we try to post educational videos, uh, videos looking at the charts, talking about how to really make money in crypto. We're not, no BS, guys. We're going to just tell it to you like it is. We have automated strategies as well. If you want to check out the crypto code, what we do, register for one of our free workshops. We give you $10 in Bitcoin just for attending the workshop and taking a short quiz at the end. We have an amazing community. We're always posting, who are always, always posting their wins and their success rates. You can go in here and take a look at this. We have a trading call service as well where we have an 88.11% win rate today. You can go verify that. Go to, to the cryptoco.com forward slash trade record. You can see our trade record 88.11% win rate right now. We Our goal is to get that between, but keep that between the 87 to 90% uh, win rate. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching my video today. As always, take massive action in life anything you do. This is Joel Peterson with the Crypto Code. We'll see you in another video. Bye guys. Thanks for tuning in. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates on the latest and greatest in crypto. 
Let me know your thoughts on today's video in the comments below. You can also check out what we do here at The Crypto Code by registering for one of our free workshops where we show you how we and our students profit in crypto, no matter if the markets are up or down. Attend our free workshop, take a short quiz at the end, and we will send you $10 in Bitcoin. No purchase needed. We have already given away hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of Bitcoin just this year alone. Just look for the link in the description of this video to register for the workshop. It will be worth your time. Our public trade record currently has an 88% win rate, and you can view it here. Best of luck with your investments, and remember to stay informed and stay safe in the crypto world. See you next time.